At one point, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille was the talk of the town. Everybody knew about it and most people loved it. But the question floating around your head and my head as well is probably how good is this fragrance 16 years after its release? It's 2023, so is Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille worth it? Let's get into it. Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille is listed as a unisex spicy oriental fragrance with obvious notes like vanilla and tobacco, but with other notes like dried fruits, woody notes, and cacao. I'm gonna be honest, for the first one to two hours, really all I smell is the tobacco, vanilla, and then a hint of the dried fruits in there, and it doesn't really smell like anything else. It smells smoky, sweet, spicy, it's a combination that is quite pleasant. And after the first two hours, it should smell woodier, and then the cacao note should come out. So it should smell a little bit less sweet, um, it should smell more masculine a bit, and then the background should smell a little bit chocolatey, but the cacao note is not strong at all. But if you try hard enough, you actually can smell it. I'm not sure why, but for some reason, Oriental fragrances love to have this super sweet, spicy opening, and then have this like woodier, spicy dry down. Uh, it's something they usually all do, but none of us really care about that. What we want to know is what the performance is like. This fragrance is actually quite strong, and it's mostly worn in the winter. No surprise there, but it's actually kind of a more sophisticated oriental kind of fragrance. So if you were wearing a nice suit or something, I can easily see you wearing this all year long. But for overall versatility, it's really not that versatile. But whenever I've tested this fragrance, I've had eight plus hours of longevity with six to eight sprays. And then for projection, I've had a moderate to strong projection for the first two to three hours. And then after that, it kind of dwindles off. But for the atomizer on this fragrance, I really have to say, for out of all the other fragrances I've reviewed, this one has probably one of the worst atomizers. Nice job, team. Overall though, the performance on this fragrance is really good. So whether you're wearing it in fall or winter, you're gonna get great projection and great longevity. So now we know about the smell and the performance, but what about the price? And that's where the problem comes in. For a standard 50 milliliter bottle or a 1.7 ounce bottle, you're looking at spending $295 retail price. And it does not get better for if you get a 100 milliliter bottle or a 3.4 ounce bottle, you're looking at spending $400 retail. This is very expensive and it can really push many people away from even thinking about purchasing this fragrance. And it doesn't really get better either when you switch to discounters because the lowest price I've seen on a discounter was for a 50 milliliter bottle or a 1.7 ounce once again for just about $200, $194 to be exact. So that really does beg the question, is this fragrance even worth the hype? Well, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille is a very good fragrance, a very high quality fragrance. But even for me, that price is outrageous. It's hard to justify spending that kind of money when I can easily get something like Layton or Spice Bomb Extreme to do the exact same thing. I would say if you really, really like the smell of tobacco and vanilla like I do, then it would be a great purchase. And if I'm basing it off of just the smell alone, I do think it is worth the hype. The smell of this fragrance is worth the hype, but the price kind of makes it unjustifiable and I don't know if I would say it is worth the buy. So after taking everything into consideration, my rating for Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille will have to be a 7.5 out of 10. It ranks so low for these reasons. It's extremely expensive and there's so many fragrances that do what this fragrance does in terms of being a spicy oriental fragrance. And because it is a spicy oriental fragrance, it really just lacks a lot of versatility. So I really do wish I could put it higher, but I think 7.5 out of 10 is perfect for this rating. And that concludes my review. If you disagree with anything on this video, leave it in the comments and I will see what you guys have to say. But don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video if you truly enjoyed this video, and if you wanna see my video about Parfums to Marley Layton, click here and you can watch that video as well. But guys, that is all for now. I will see you guys in the next one.